Hi, I'm Steve James with Snow West Magazine. You know, we get these sleds, these new snowmobiles, and they have adjustable ski widths. Uh, and usually that means that you have these spacers like this right here, if you can see them, these two spacers in on the bolt going through holding the skis on. And depending on what side of the spindle they're on, your sled is either wider or narrower by that times two. Um, and so to change these, you've got to pull the bolt out, move them to the other side, put the bolt back in. Well, Skidoo has a, a, a fix and adjustable ski stance. Very simple, easy to work. And I'm going to show you how it does, okay? So I'll walk you right through how we can take these out and make that so we don't have to remove the bolt to adjust our skis. We can do it out on the snow anywhere and quickly. Let me show you how it's done. This one has just been completed. Notice how it's, when we built that, sorry about the bounce, when it, we built, this is the adjustable ski stance. See the, the bushings are removed and now that can lock, latch onto that side or I can come over here, pull it over on this side, move the ski all the way over, which would make it the widest width and then latch it on that side. So it's a very easy process just clips in place. That's what we're gonna put on. Put on. So basically we're gonna drill a hole, put a bolt through and uh, attach this in here and remove those and, and we're good to go. Okay, let's go to that part of the process. First, I gotta remove the ski bolt. Very simple process. Just a matter of taking that bolt out. Then what I like to do, use a screwdriver, a Phillips, and tap it through on the bolt. So I get my bolt out. Don't want to lose any parts. Right there. Pull my screwdriver out. I have my ski off, and then I'm going to take these two bushings out right here. We don't need them anymore. Okay, now we're gonna go and drill these holes. With the, uh, the spacer in here, or the template, it's a matter of putting the bolt through the hole. So now I know everything's gonna be right in place. I, I work over a garbage can. I turn my lid upside down. That way anything I, I drill can fall right into the garbage can lid. When I'm done, it's just a matter of dumping my lid. So I got that secure where it needs to be. I have a 15 64th drill bit, and I try to drill straight through. One side is done. Remove that. Take my bit out, and I'm gonna reverse the process. Over on this side, same thing. Notice that the hole on drill is the front of the ski. A few years ago, when I first got this kit, I drilled the hole on the wrong side and you, it was stupid. All right, this is the correct way. I get it right where it needs to be. I get it secured and then I'll punch this hole through. Now that's done. I can get rid of my template. I'm done with that. I get my bolt. I want the bolt part on the outside so I have the nuts on the inside. So it's gonna be coming in this direction right here. And I get it started. And then I make sure I have my, my space right here. That's gonna, when it folds over, it latches onto the, the bolt like that. I get that on and then I just tap that through. Put the bolt on on the inside.
Make sure that's all the way through and that this will slide back and forth. And that ski is ready to be put back on. I'll tip it over, drop any shavings I have back in there, and then I'll be put then I'll put my ski back where it needs to go. Okay, now I'm ready to get the bolt back on. Let's try this. I get my Phillips. I try to bring it all up nice and even. Everything's pretty close. I try to, once that started, I can get that until I knock my mold out of the way, or my Phillips out of the way. Then it's a matter of Tightening this back up. Slide over. Making sure it's down and that's what it takes. Sometimes those processes get a little complicated. A uh, second set of hands always ha helpful, but it's an easy process. Uh, now when I'm out riding, I can take this free ride to a 39 and a half up to about a 42 inch ski stance, depending if I'm mostly in the trails or mostly in the trees. Steve Jaynes with Snow West Magazine.